Hey y'all, it's Christy from Tea Dottles. <laughs> it's finally time for a podcast. Are y'all ready? Because I got a lot to talk about. <laughs> but first, let's say welcome new subscribers. Welcome back subscribers. I'm happy to have you here with me and my maker shenanigans. I do like to do the sewing things, the yarny things, and the DIY things. So you will see a little bit of all of that here on this channel. I do consider this a maker channel. So if you like to make things, you might like it here. Got me an afternoon cup of coffee and my I love you more than bacon mug. I don't have afternoon class, so I can have afternoon coffee because uh, if I drink coffee before I go to afternoon class, I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom before that class is over. <laughs> it's only like an hour and a half. So I don't wanna have to do that, so that's why I don't do it. And then when I get home and af after that class, it's too late to have coffee because I sometimes it keeps me up sometimes it doesn't so you know I just don't do it and when I gotta get up you know six o'clock in the morning I'd rather sleep as much as I can of that time I go to sleep <laughs> so, anywho it's been a minute it's been a minute y'all I uh I just uh, let's talk a minute about that uh just been dealing with some life changes and some of y'all know what it is some of y'all don't I don't prefer to talk about it too much on here um but most of y'all have figured it out by now and uh it's a lot to separate two lives after nearly two decades together you know it's not like a big court battle or anything like that um people some people are like what is she talking about he'll be okay okay y'all have figured it out um so it's just a matter of you know processing all of that and going through it and well it's been like like almost seven months so yeah still stuff to do but uh yeah i've been uh making some irl or in real life friends and uh, reconnecting with some older friends and doing things i went hiking with some ladies the other weekend it was so much fun I had so much that was the most fun I've had in forever and uh, you know sometimes when you go hang out with new people people you just met or you don't know that well or you've never done that with it can be awkward it was not awkward at all it was like we had been friends forever so uh, quite enjoyed that we're supposed to go walking again this month it's actually a festival thing like a strawberry festival is a 5k walk run i'm walking i'm not running i'm not not a runner no if you can run fast be glad because if i'm running bad things are coming i'm just gonna tell you <laughs> i don't like running but uh so and i've been in a pro it's kind of a process of rearranging the house Deciding what I want to keep, deciding what I don't want to keep, and I'm still, it's kind of an ongoing thing. I, I, I get, I'm really trying to process my maker supplies. There's just so much of it. It's ridiculous. I just sometimes, like, why? I cannot possibly make all of this stuff. <laughs> I just can't. I'm not going to live that long, and I don't have that much time in the day. Uh, but anyway, I can try, can't I? <laughs> <laughs> so and plus I hurt my arm like this muscle across here I pulled it or did something to it and it's been aggravating me for a few months now uh and I can really feel it in my elbow um I did it heat sealing those little uh Epsom salt packets I put in the mini maker club the mini mini maker club and it's really hindered my crochet and knitting because I can only do it for so long it just starts hurting but it is getting to a point where I can finally like I could do it for a little bit and then I just stretch it you know just for a few minutes and then I can get back to it so um yeah but I haven't been able to do too much because it just hurts and um uh, it hurts when I work on the computer it hurts when I Pick up my coffee mug out the 
console in my car when I'm riding down the road and I pick up my coffee mug to drink out of it. That that can hurt. <laughs> Crazy. But of course, if I had rested it more, like taking like 30 minutes here and there, put ice on it, which I didn't do. And, I just really have a hard time being still, y'all. It's it's a thing. I just have a hard time being still. So, uh, yeah. So I just been. That's why it's been kind of hit or miss. It's not. It's kind of me rethinking my whole life. Not that I'm gonna stop doing this. It's just been like. You you have these moments in life where you're like, what am I doing? What have I been doing for the past twenty years? <laughs> you know. Uh, so it's been kind of like that, just rethinking things a little bit, you know, thinking about what I want to do in the future. My son's going to graduate in June, and hopefully he'll find a job real soon, and, you know, and he'll be situated. So, you know, just a lot of things, a lot of things. So this week I'm off in the afternoons. Friday I'm completely off because I don't have afternoon class. That school is on spring break. I still have to go to the morning thing. Um, which puts me home about one o'clock. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to get caught up on things this week. Like, caught up, get some videos made to put out. I miss doing the, the tutorials and the comparison videos I was doing. Um, get some blog posts going. Uh, get caught up on things in the shop. Get some things in the shop. That'd be nice, huh? Uh, I owe people bags for the cozy murder mystery cow. I haven't, they, they won bags that they haven't received yet because I haven't made them yet. I owe people totes, uh, zipper totes from uh, last year's uh, mini maker club. I've got to finish. So just trying to get caught up on things, right? So I can feel like I'm on top of things. I feel like I keep getting behind, keep getting behind. Uh, it's just because I've been doing other stuff right and that's uh, you need to do that sometimes so <laughs> if you feel like you're always working yeah that's what i felt like at one point like i was always working and i don't want to feel like that i want to enjoy when i'm making stuff because i do it just you know yeah. <clears throat> so i also sent out the first maker quarterly club this month and I've got to do a video for the embroidery for that. Um, yeah, so I got some things I need to do and get caught up on. So we're gonna do it, right? We're gonna do it. Uh, yeah, this week. There's something else I wanted to put in here. Oh, the Cozy Murder Mystery Cow. Put up a pattern each month on the blog. That's gonna go out this Friday. Uh, the next block or square, whatever you want to call it goes up in the next book. Um, I've already started reading that book and I'm liking it much better than the last book. The last book I liked to a certain point and then it kind of fell apart at the end. <laughs> I was just like this. I didn't like it anymore. So <laughs> I don't know how y'all felt about, felt about that, but um, that's how I felt about it. And then my maker stash down is going on in. Okay. So the, the cozy murder mystery cow goes on in my, there's a Facebook group with the same name where you post your pictures of your block you may enter to win a special mini maker bag that I made with fabrics I picked out just for that uh, each month and then we read a book and we make a square and we'll have a little afghan at one point um, and the pattern goes up on the blog so it's a free pattern you don't have to pay for anything uh, and you don't have to read the book to participate in the cow it's just part of it um, and then the uh, Maker Stash Down happens in my T-Doddles Makers Facebook group. Um, no matter what you make, you can post pictures of what you make. The goal of that is to set goals each month and share them with the group. And then at the end of the month, uh, share what you accomplished. Um, it's not to put pressure on anybody. It's just to try to encourage you to use your stash and make things, right? Um, I just do ask that to try to keep it PG in there because I have younger people that visit that group. So, <laughs> uh, I would appreciate that. Um, now, uh, we have people who bake stuff and share pictures, gardening, uh, painting, sewing, crocheting, knitting, you know, woodworking, whatever you do would, that you make stuff with, that's the place to go share it and meet other makers. Um, 
So, and I have a, a giveaway, a $20 Amazon gift card each month. I pull from the people who, who shared their goals and shared their accomplishments at the end of the month. So that's, you do have to do both to be put in that drawing. Um, so I've got to pick a winner for that. I'll be doing that before the end of the week. If you're waiting on that, I'm going to post that in my Facebook group too. So that's what I mean. I've been, I get in little spurts where I feel like I'm getting back connected and started and then something takes me back down again and it's just, just ugh. Anyway, working out the kinks from last year still. <laughs> getting them kinked out, right? <laughs> so, um, those are all things going on. All the links are down below. Um, you can sign up for the blog. I haven't done a newsletter in a hot minute. I plan on having one for this Sunday because I had made it where I was going to do it once a month and it, that wasn't happening. So I need to do one. I'm going to try to stick to once a month because that's as much I can do for a newsletter. Um, and I'm going to use this video as my Maker Stash Down kind of post. Uh, you can see what I've been doing and everything. Instead of trying to do a blog post and a video, I felt like this, uh, just once a month I do a, a podcast kind of blog post where I update you on everything and then show you what I did for the month. Okay? I, yeah, you're, you're, you're agreeing. I can see it. I can tell. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do from now on. Uh, but if you sign up for the newsletter, uh, you'll be notified of, well, you can sign up to be notified of a blog post every time I do one. Or you can choose to just get the newsletter where I include links to everything I did that month. Um, and you also get access to a page where I have coloring sheets that I drew and designed and everything and uploaded. Um, and I'm hoping to get some new ones up this month because I have a couple in progress. I just enough time in the day i'm beginning to think that one of my students ideas was was maybe a good one he said he wished he could stay up 24 7 because i was like well you know you need sleep to your body needs it to it does stuff while you're sleeping right it's important he said yeah but what if they had a machine that could do all that and then you could stay up 24 7 because i asked him what would you do if you could stay up 24 7 i don't know but it would be nice nice to be able to do it he went into the whole you sleep a third of your life so if you sleep if you live to be 90 then you've only had 60 years you were awake 30 years you were sleeping <laughs> well, <okay. laughs> anyway let's just move on to the next segment because i think that's all i got right now all right it's time for yarny goodness um so I have a few things to show you and a few things I was just going to talk about. I don't have a huge amount of yarny goodness, but um, I do have some yarn stuff coming for some reason, even though I have yarn. Eh. So, <laughs> first I want to talk about this. I've showed this before. The video for this is coming up as soon as I can possibly get it done. Uh, these are this uh, Barocco uh, tasting yarn tasting I got these little samples of yarn new yarns they have coming out they're probably already out by now because I haven't had time to do it yet but I'm gonna do a video so you can get a close-up and check them all out and then I'm gonna do a knit and a crochet swatch with each and we'll take a look at some of the cool patterns in the book and uh, so that video is coming up to do the yarny goodness in case you didn't know um, for those of you waiting for a pattern for this month or March's Mini Mini Maker Club, I am working on it. I wanted to show you what I have so far. It's Mindful Mandala is the name of the pattern. Um, so this is what I have so far. I really like how it's turned out. This is just taking me longer than the other patterns. Number one, fingering weight yarn. And it's a mandala and... Each row is different. I wanted each row to be different so that you have to think about it and be mindful of your crochet. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so what I think I'm going to do is post, I think this is nine rows, nine or ten rows I have done. 
and post those and then update it so y'all can get started on it if you want to this color is so pretty from jenna uh i'm trying to turn it so you can see you can see the texture and stuff i put in it i'm enjoying this i've just got to and plus i have to write it down as i do it which makes it take a little longer so i am working on it in case you're looking for that it's coming i haven't forgot about y'all um so i had said before um sorry about that some unknown number call i've been getting so many spam calls have y'all been getting a lot of spam calls like too many spam i feel like somebody's leaked my phone number to some spam list <laughs> i don't know but um anyway so i have what would be half of this c2c blanket um where i had used a, a scrap cake this is all homespun and now I've used the two cakes that I had. What was it? Beach umbrella and something else. I don't know. I showed them before. Uh, so this would only, this would be half if I decided to do what I originally decided to do, which was uh, I would go back and I put my next beach umbrella uh, cake in it, and then this one, and then the other cake of this. But um. I don't know. I think this is going to be smaller than I want it to be. Maybe not. So basically, this is... Let me hold it this way, Christy. So this is how wide it is. But that's also how long it would be. And I just feel like it should be longer. Because it didn't have to be but a lap blanket. But I feel like I want it a little bit longer. So I think I'm going to have to pick another cake to put in the middle. I just... I got to go in there and figure out what will go good with it so I have that done um I'm looking for a place to set this I'm tight I'm sure it's going a little crazy let me get situated y'all okay <laughs> so I finished I've got a box and a bag full of stuff I got to weave in I'm kind of throwing it in there when I get done. <laughs> I really need to leave stuff in. I finished this dishcloth, which I had to use just a bit of gray to finish it off because I only have so much purple left. I really like this dishcloth. It's the fanfare or something like that. It was a free uh, crochet pattern on Knit Picks or We Crochet. I don't know, remember. I think it's on both of them, but I'll put a link down below. Yeah. I really like this. Well, this is supposed to be a washcloth, like, to bathe with. But, um, I really like the texture and stuff in it. So, this purple is, I love this cotton from, uh, Hobby Lobby. And this is Dishy from Knit Picks or We Crochet, whichever one. They're pretty much the same thing. And so I've started another one with the dishy. So this is silver, silver dishy. That's what this is. And this is just something I'm making up. Um, I did like a crunch stitch or a lemon peel stitch down here, and then I put some row of bobbles. Now I'm going back to the crunch stitch, so I'm just going to kind of do that without that. So uh, I have that going. I'm planning on planning on making. So I got a big bin of older acrylic in there. I want to blend some of them together to make some of those big baskets I've seen, crocheted baskets, and I'm going to fill them with stuff like dishcloths and washcloths and. And other things, candles I've made, you know, for families for Christmas. Um, so that's in the works. So now I have this bin. All of this yarn in this bin is kind of singles where I bought yarn to try it out, like either from Line Brand or from other places, or some people just sent me a skein and a swap or something. So that's what's in this basket. So I'm trying to work on 
emptying this basket since it's single stuff and decide there's some stuff I've already taken out to put in my giveaway pile. I am still doing the happy mailboxes. I've just got to put some together and I hope to get some of those done this week too. I'll talk about that more at the end of the video. But I finished this is the Mandela Fluffy which I only saw two shades online brand but I think they still have it at like Joann's and stuff. Um I made a cowl. I haven't woven in the ends. Of course, I really love the colors on this. And even though this is a fluffy, floofy yarn, this was so easy to work with. It worked up so fast. I made it last night, just before bed. And it's very soft. I almost wanted to make like a three pillow with it, but my dog's toenails will get. I just decided that's probably not a good idea. This is just a big, fluffy cowl. And I don't know if I keep it yet or if I'm going to put it in my giveaway pile. But I kind of like it. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, and it's just, all I did was rose a double crochet. That's all I did. Super simple. Until I used up the whole cake and then I slip stitched it together. And I love the way the color pattern turned out in it. This is butterfly fish. They all have fish names. So, so there's one thing done. I was pretty excited about that. <laughs> so that is one project done out of my basket. So now there are some things in here I want to kind of compare. Kind of like these two. Um, they're not the same weight, but they're, this is a cotton blend from Lion Brand, which is 69% cotton, 31% acrylic. And it has this nubbly texture to it, which I love. It's a number five weight. But this is 85 cotton, 15 polyester from Premier Home, Cotton XL. It is a number seven because as you can see, it's like a chainette construction. So I'd like to make something both of these to see the comparison. Even though they're not the same weight, they're kind of similar concepts, right? So you're going to see things like that. And then there, there's just a bunch of different stuff in here. Like this lace weight, I think, is something... I have slated for another project. I've been going through my list and finding matching yarn to projects. Matching, matching. So I can better decide what I want to let go of. Um, this Ombre Life I got in a swap. And I love the color. But I already have a project going with some Ombre Life. So I don't know. I, kind of, I like the yarn. I just don't know if I want to do something else in it. But, but that's what I'm doing with this basket of yarn. And it's on my shelf over there. It's just kind of random skeins. I just want to work through it and decide, am I really going to use this? Uh, the couple of skeins that I put in the giveaway, they're yarns that they don't, that are discontinued and I don't have but one. And I couldn't find a project that I really wanted to do with just one skein of it. So I figured I can put it to giveaway and uh, somebody maybe, maybe they have another one. <laughs> I don't know. Or they can give it to somebody who has another one. Whatever. Uh. Oh, I just put my tooth on there. Did y'all hear that? Oh. Okay. So that's... I think that's all of my yarn goodness. Because I have... I have some yarn coming. Because uh, We Crochet has their new magazine out. If you've not uh, used their magazines... It's called a magazine, but it's a little booklet of crochet. I love them. I will get everyone <laughs> as long as they make them. Um... So, the new one is out. They are $14.99, um, but like I said, it's like a book, and it has a lot of patterns in it. It's a beautiful magazine. I don't I don't consider that a magazine. It, so, uh, y'all should check that out. I have a link down below. Uh, they are an affiliate of mine, just so y'all know. And if you click on any links below that are affiliate links, I could get a part, small percentage if you buy through my link doesn't affect your price or anything it just helps with everything else I do so um 
So I put in an order, and when I and when I order that magazine, I always order enough. I have to order yarn because you get free shipping for thirty five dollars. So why not? <laughs> I'm already halfway there, kind of fifteen bucks, you know. So uh, I ordered a dishy sampler pack because I like the colors in it, and I needed. I have a whole box of cotton yarn in there, so there's just some colors in there I really wanted. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. And I ordered this little pen that I actually seen in another person's blog post email thing. It says, it looks like a backpack and it says Yarn Queen on it. And I think it has like a yarn ball or something. I don't know. It was a cool little pen. So, when that comes in, I will share it. I also ordered from uh, Furls. They have a little kit. It's um, the Wander, the Wanderer Shawl. Or something like that. It's got several different colors. And you could pick your own colors. Like five different colors of yarn. To make it. I really liked the pattern. Plus you get a bag that says all who wander are not lost. So I really love that. So I ordered that. I think it was like $24 or something like that. Plus. If you order a hook. With it. You get 20% off the hook. So I ordered a hook. <laughs> and the size I needed for the pattern. So. I'll only be my second furls hook. I just I just have the one. I think it was a quarantine kit they did last year sometime. So uh, that is coming as well. Um, now, yeah, I don't think I have any other yarn coming, but um, I have quite a bit of fabric stuff to share with y'all, and I think. I'm just going to do a big fabric haul video for new fabrics when I get to that section. We'll talk about that. But, yeah, I have quite a bit of other things to show y'all, actually, this month. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. And like I said before, if you're in the Cozy Murder Mystery Cow, the new block will go up this Friday. And the book to read will go up this Friday. And I will be drawing a winner by this weekend for both groups. Um, so, yeah, if you haven't heard about it, check it out. Links are down below. So let's move it on along, shall we? Okay, y'all, it's time for Fabric Obsessed. So like I said, I have quite a bit of fabric. I have like three boxes of fabric <laughs> ordered recently from a Fabric Mart. And I have another Fabric Mart order coming, actually. And I ordered from uh, Girl Charlie, like two things I wanted. And then I order uh, the fabric for next month's club from fabric.com. But I actually ordered some apparel fabric this time that I wanted. So, yeah, I think I want stuff over there. Oh, that's why I said I probably will do a fabric haul video for that stuff. And just talk about the other stuff because I got some other stuff to talk about. So, hmm. um, I have made me, st I've just got to hem everything up. But this shirt here, this blank slate uh, this is the Blanc tee. The shirt I have on right now is a Blanc tee. One of my favorite work around the house shirts because of the fabric I picked for it. Um, two pieces in the pattern is it. I love this t-shirt. This is my favorite t-shirt. Um, so I have a couple other ones I've made, but I needed some more. And I made them in fabrics that'll be good for, well, the ones I have... So sewn up are fabrics that'll be good for work um because i have bought me some new pants and stuff which i want to make some pants but i needed some new pants and i bought some other new tops but i have you is going up here don't I? you see i've surged all the edges i've just gotta hem everything so this is one it's great pokey dotted kind of striated Ooh, that's hard to look at, ain't it? <laughs> but this is just a nice, comfy, and it's a dressier kind of top. I wear my, my dress pants uh, for summertime when because it's getting hot around here. It's already hot. So, this one's a little spicy. A little spicy. Uh, this is a snakeskin print, which I really like. This, y'all, I got me some eggplant purple dress pants. I think it's look good with it. I don't like it. I don't wear bras like this to school. This is just like my little 
bralette thing. I wear a regular bra, so it does stay up. On, uh, this just goes around my neck, so just saying. I don't know why y'all needed to know that, but just in case you want to make one. So this is, yeah, that's that one. And then I've got this one. Y'all, I just sew these up on my serger. I cut these out one day and sewed them up on my serger one day and did all the serge and hems. I just have to iron the hems or put some interface in and do it. I just haven't done that yet. So this is my other one. I like the color. Look at that. Bright. Ooh. What color? Oh, that is not attractive. <laughs> so there we go. I got three of those three done. Um, and I'm going to cut out some more, actually. How many? Of what kind of shirt do you need? All of them. No. Um, these two, they're very similar in color. And I've got to stop buying fabric in this color. I've realized if there's fabric in this color, when I go to order fabric, I put it in my cart. I need to stop doing that because i got too much fabric in this color. Anyway, I'm going to make, these are going to be, um, for exercise like when I'm walking and stuff uh, that's what I'm gonna do with those two and then this one is uh, will be more just casual because it's it's I have to wear a tank top under it's kind of it's see-through it's like a burnout tea fabric so yeah I'm not completely sure about that yeah I might find something else to make with that but I got a ton of knit fabrics over there to do stuff with so so that is, I've sewed those. Um, Y'all remember this that I made <laughs> that was so huge. I am going to take that in. That's why it's hanging on the rack over here still. I got to finish my butterfly shirt. Uh, so those are coming up. Uh, I, I am working on some new things for the shop. Okay, I'm going to have some bags coming in the shop. My bags that I normally do. But I've got some new items coming in. Uh, yarn bowls will be one. They're, um, well, they're rope bowls that you can use for a yarn bowl or use it, whatever you want to use it for. I made like two one time and put them in the shop and they sold and I haven't made any since. But I have every tent to do that. So those are coming up. And I'm going to make uh, yarn cozies. Is that what you call them? The little stretchy bands you put around the yarn to kind of, when you got a cake, keep it from falling apart I will be making some of those and I'm actually using the leftovers from my tops uh, because I have a lot of I went ahead and cut it up what I'm probably gonna do is put like this on one side and this on one side so it's reversible I think that'll be cool so those are coming up um, I, and I'm gonna cut some out of the fabric I have left from that thing that top I made over there cuz you know and then the little bits I've been cutting into strips and they go into a bin, which I can use for rugs or t-shirt yarn or whatever I want to use it for. So, that is coming up in the shop. Uh, I thought there's something else fabric-wise. Oh. Hold on. Okay, so. The last time I ordered from fabric.com, I ordered, I mean, it's a big order because I had some fabric apparel... And I had all the fabric I needed for April's bags. So when I got my order, like I got it the very next day. Which that does happen in another fabric mark. I think they're up above Atlanta or somewhere like that. Um, when I opened the box, I was like, this is really small. Is it only part of it? It's like, I did not order this. <laughs> so what I got were these. I think I got like three of these panels. Yeah. Because I sent them an email, I was like, you need me to send this back? This is not what I ordered. And then I had to wait like five days to see if it, my order came in before they would redo it. But anyway, it didn't come in and I had to redo it. Oh, I didn't even realize this is a bag. Well, these are pretty cool. It's a panel. I think I have three of these. Yeah. You can make a tote with it. I didn't realize it could make a tote. Look. That's pretty cool. So, I guess I'm going to sew those up. And probably put them in the shop. I didn't realize they were, I thought they were just panels. But, anyway. 
So, because they told me to just keep it. Because, you know. I guess it probably would have cost more to send it back to, <laughs> to do. I don't know. I figured somebody was missing that fabric. Because then you also, this is with, with it too. Which I'm guessing is the line it with whoever purchased it. Or whatever it's for. Yeah. Yeah, it's from the same line. So, yeah, I'll probably put those in there. Even though there's only a yard of this. I don't think that's enough to make all those bags. It doesn't matter. It was free fabric. Why am I complaining? I'm not. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I think that's... I think that's all I'm going to do for the fabric assess. I actually have a lot for the DIY section, believe it or not. Um... And the only reason Fabric Obsessed is not bigger is because I have boxes of fabric I want to share with y'all, but I don't want to put that in here. I mean, it's even longer than it's going to be because it's a lot of fabric. Um, I do have some patterns and fabric set out over there that I'm going to cut out, but uh, I'll probably show that in the fabric haul or something when I talk about what I'm going to do with the fabrics that I purchased because I'm getting ready to make me some workout gear and some bras. I'm gonna try making bras. Well, little sports bras. That's what I'm gonna start with. And underwear. So, <laughs> I don't know if I'll show y'all. Well, I don't know. We'll see. But that's what I'm getting ready to do. Uh, to try that out. Which, you know, I've got some great patterns. Because what I've noticed, I wanted some underwear that's kind of fancy. I don't It's fancy, you know like cute underwear but it's comfortable still right i did a underwear subscription for a little bit and that was cute underwear but it was not comfortable and if it's not comfortable i'm not wearing it that's just all there is to it i don't care how cute it looks i don't like it i can't walk around in that mess all day <laughs> anyway i'm gonna try and make my own and we'll see how it goes um yeah so, I think that's it for a Fabric Obsessed. Um, I've got some quilt alongs over there that I need to catch up on too, but I'm trying to, I'm just going to stick with what i got going right now because i got a lot of other sewing to do this week especially. So, uh, yeah, let's move on along, shall we? Mm. Okay, time for DIY and thrifty fun. Um, oh, I'm so missing being able to go to thrift stores and stuff. I, there are some places open and I have stuff in my trunk that needs to go <laughs> into the thrift store, so I'm going to stop riding around with it. Um, so, I'm hoping to get to get by there this week to drop some things off. And try to avoid looking too much, because I have no need for anything really but storage stuff. So, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I got a bunch of thrift. Yeah, I know y'all can see really as my tools for DIY thrifty, but I have shelves up here with all kinds of stuff, and I got stuff in there, you know, for projects. You know, I collect anything that I could possibly make something with. So, uh, so first I have. Well, let's start with what's in front of me first. Um, this all came from Amazon went on there to order this one thing and then these other things were in their lightning deal that particular day <laughs> so this is a pack of butterflies see they're like kind of uh, plasticky you know in 3d they have a 3d bodies um they're in all kinds of colors um i saw a project on what is the name of that website I can't think of it, but I'll put the link down below. Uh, they made a wreath where they put the butterflies all around it, which it was just one of those uh, kind of grapevine wreaths, reeds. And they spray painted it white and they put the butterflies on it. I was like, oh, that's really cute. Which I have like the green wire wreaths over there. I have several. Uh, so I'm going to do something with that. But I think I'm going to crochet some flowers to put in there too to make a wreath. So that's why I got these. And I will be doing either a blog post or a video or combo of some sort for that. So, yay. Um, and also, I, I got these 
pens to try out because they come in different um, sizes. Micro pens. Um, let's see the sizes they got down there. Um, I don't think it's, it was like eight bucks maybe. I don't think it was that much, but it's fine point ultra. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I just sneezed a couple times. Ugh. Y'all, the pollen. I didn't take my allergy medicine at lunch. I just realized that. Anyway, the pollen has toned down a bit, but it it's still not the best. I know it's important, but I don't think we need that much of it. But anyway. <laughs> so, I'm going to try these out when I do my little sketches and stuff. Although, this one is meant for if you want to kind of fill in with, you know, the different widths of the, the uh, pen. <clears throat> so, I got those to try out. And I got these two mixed media pads. Um, this is the A5 size. So you can do acrylic, watercolor pen, and pencil on these. But uh, I guess I got two of them. I'm going on making like a mixed media or altered book kind of thingy with it. Uh, so that's, that's what I'm going to do with these. Um, and then I got... Y'all, I just realized. I got this pack of paintbrushes. Something is, do you see this right here? This, this is the, the brush. Uh, I don't see it in the pack either. Because I was like, what is that funny thing? It doesn't say rigor. Is that what that is? Is that called a rigor? No, this is for fine lines and lettering. Printing edges. Well, I think it's missing a brush in. That's what it looks like to me. Huh. I didn't even notice that when I first opened it. Well, anyway, I got some paint brushes because I'm always uh, needing new paint brushes, and this was a good price for because I mess them up doing stuff that I shouldn't be doing with them, probably. But anyway, <laughs> sometimes, well, I use them for glue projects, and it's not always easy to get all the glue out, and sometimes you just can't use them again. So, anywho. So I got those. All that came from Amazon. I'll put links to them if they're still available. Um, then I got yeah, this came from Amazon too. I'm pretty sure it was a it was a lot and deal, but I really liked it. I have several puzzles in there now, and I haven't put together. I kept trying to start one, and kind of having to move it off the table because. It was in the way of other stuff, and I need to get one of those roll-up puzzle things or something. I don't know. But this is called. What is? This? It's called something. Because the picture wraps around the box, which is kind of cool. But it's, it had something to do with Alice in Wonderland because it's got. You can see the lady in the blue and white dress and it's just got in the garden like lost garden or something I don't know it's really cool looking I really like it and like I said it wraps around that's like the whole image that you can see so I liked the image right which is usually what gets me on puzzles if I get a puzzle it has to be something that I like the image of because although I like putting the puzzles together I usually want to be able to like glue it together and hang it up which I've only ever done that with one puzzle in there but <laughs> that's the goal eventually so I like to have an image that I like when I finish it that I would use 
other than just putting it together. So now this is <laughs> which I haven't used my journals and things. I have a bunch of them uh, for crochet projects and stuff. I've got to get them all updated and situated and I just haven't done it yet. But and I did use a planner and I haven't done one for a long time because it just hadn't. But I'm I need to. Because it helps me remember stuff better, what I need to do and stuff. So, uh, they had a set up to 70% off sale on Me and My Big Ideas, which is the Happy Planner, which is the one I love. So, I got this for planner for dates and keeping up with stuff. Grow Where You Are Planted, which I love it because it's got all the plants on it and stuff. And then I got this to add to the back. Isn't that pretty? It's a zipper pouch. And I know you hold a pen and there's a cord if you need to. But it just has an elastic that goes around your page so you can keep it in your planner with you. Um, this is what's on the inside. Isn't it? It's all the herbs and stuff. I love it. It's got beautiful. I'm starting in April, which I haven't filled out yet. Oh, we're not going to look at that. But it's just got some beautiful planty things on the inside. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. So I got a new planner. So then I said, well, I'm going to get the gardening planner accessories pack. Which has little sticky notes and a divider. And some little notepad papers and stickers and stuff. So I got that to go with it. And then I got two sticker sheet books that have... This is the gardening one, which I'm loving. And then I got this other one, which is flowers. So one is more fruits and veggies, and the other one is flowers and butterflies. So I got both of them. This one's a little bigger. You can see 712, 470. Because um, they were they were pretty cheap because these things can be expensive. And like I said, it was up to 70% off. So I don't remember how much. But then I got this little thing. I thought it was so cute. Crafty Stick Babe. Is what it's called. <laughs> but it has little stick figures doing crafty things, buying crafty things. Um. Oh yeah, craft night artist. I love this. Look at that little sewing lady right there. Yeah. Yeah. This is a fun one to put. Look, it's even got one of them little carts. <laughs> I love it. So, just to decorate whatever I want to do with it. Um, and I got this. They sent me a Happy Planner sticker, which, okay. And this is for one of my bigger ones, just to add some pages in. Even though it's calendar pages, I use it for other stuff. Um, but it's just an extension pack, and it was a good price for like six months. Um, well, you see how they kind of do collages and stuff, but they do it on the dates. Um, it's fun to do that, or like if you're keeping it with projects and stuff. Yeah. So, that's what I got from the Happy Planner. I want to sit down this week and get that filled out. Um, I got one more thing. It's not really. This is the Walmart Beauty Box, which I've showed this before. It did go up in price on this. It was $5.00 comes out four times a year and you can sign up for a subscri subscription and they can send it automatically or you can just go get it every quarter um it's now like 6.98 or something like that because they said they were gonna have better stuff in it and everything but still, that's still not a bad price so this is the first one i received at the higher price i don't really I mean it does come with a little booklet that tells you about the stuff in the box um, so we got these scunchy, these little scunchies, uh, you know, they're the little claw clip things. These might actually come in helpful for me when I, because my hair's not quite, still not long enough for a ponytail. Although I think she trimmed off a little bit too much <laughs> last time. But it, it's, I'm trying not to cut it. I want a ponytail. So, so we got these. We got this 
uh, witch hazel toner, which I love witch hazel. I love this little one. Oh, it's just plastic, but it looks like wood. It's cool looking. It said this it was in there. Humphreys witch hazel. We got some Hello Fresh toothpaste. But I like Hello Fresh. I use their charcoal toothpaste. And we got a little sample of this Olay Ultra Wit Rich Witch Ultra Witch <laughs> face cream stuff. We got a sample of Tanologist, which I'm going to try this. It's a medium, though. It's probably going to be way too dark for me. I don't know. Maybe I need to put it on my butt so nobody can see it if it looks bad. But it's like, you know, you uh, self-tanner stuff. That's what it is. Uh, and then we got these. Uh, Dashing Diva. Well, they're, it's like the stick-on nail polish stuff. Yeah. I've never used this before, but I think I'm going to try it. I've been trying to do better with my fingernails, even though they look kind of rough right now. Um, I'm going to... They're, they're not too, too bad. It's the cuticles that I mess with too much. Um, I think I'm going to try these out. I think that's cute. I think it'd be cute to do, like, one of this and then the rest of the thing. I don't know. But, yeah. There's the gel... A manicure stuff whatever you want to do I don't know I don't usually put stuff on my fingers because it just comes off so I'm gonna try that and see how it, how it works so that was my Walmart beauty box for this quarter and that is it y'all I think that's it I think that's enough um, I've got to straighten up this stuff so I can do some stuff this afternoon um, yeah uh, so if you are new here I do I have down below it'll have all the details and rules and regulations and all that blah 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 you gotta put on there um, where I do a happy mail so you can send me an email with your uh, you don't have to send your address you just need to send your uh, the crafts you like to do like what kind of crafts you like to do because I do all the crafts and what I do is I'll fill a box. It's like I'm, I'm doing those. What are they? Are these a medium flat rate box? Each month. Which I. This is April already. So I have three that I need to send out. Because I haven't picked the winners. I've got to go through with the emails I have. And. with It's going to come from my stash. Okay. Uh, just tell me what you like to do. I probably got something that fits in there somewhere. And if you have a favorite color, if you have any allergies, be aware I do have dogs in my house. Um, I try to keep the fur off my stuff as much as I can, but they're still in my house and they don't uh, like stay. They they follow me everywhere. Well, my little one follows me everywhere. So, um, and yeah, you just send me an email like that, and I'll I put I just like number all the emails I have, and I'll pick a number. And uh, with a number, random number generator. And then I will, if I pick you, I'll email you because I'll need your address. And just to clarify some things, if I need to know some more information. And then I'll send you a happy mailbox. Um, and like I said, I had big plans to start off this year doing all that stuff. And being like on it and just, uh, I think I'm in a better place right now after everything that has happened i think a lot of people are feeling that a little bit in a better place right now after last year um uh, but yeah yeah so if you're interested in that you can put it down below and that's sponsored by me and my stash and nobody else um because that's where it come from comes from and uh yeah i uh i think that's it there's probably other stuff it's been so long. If I try to sit here and go over everything, <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous. But hopefully I'll have another video out by the end of this week. Some kind of makery thing. Either reviewing something or uh, making something. Like tutorial. I know I got that embroidery tutorial video coming up. So that's probably what it's going to be. 
um, because I got to do that. But the good thing about that embroidery tutorial, which is for the Maker Quarterly, they got all the stuff they need to make it. But the pattern that I'm using is a drawing I did, which is on my blog. So if you sign up for the newsletter, you can download it and you can do it along with us. You just have to use your own supplies. Uh, so yeah, that's something to think about if you want to do that. Um, and so I will be doing that. And then I have Friday Cozy Murder Mystery coming out. And I'll be picking winners this weekend for my groups. Um, yeah, I think that's it. My, my voice is getting dry. And I'm, did I just burp? If y'all heard that, I am very sorry. It happens sometimes, even if I try to avoid it. So, anywho, I think that's it. Um, do you have any questions? I do read all of your questions and comments. I just haven't had a spare moment to sit down and really just go through that. I've been sporadically answering emails and stuff, and I get messages in all the places. <laughs> so I really got to take a day and just sit and go through that and get caught up on all of that. I do see all of your comments and I appreciate them. I need to start just hearting them as I see them. Um, so you know I saw them. Uh, but I do see them and I do appreciate them. Um, and I think I'm close to 2,000 subscribers. If I hadn't already passed it and I didn't notice, I don't know. But hey, that's exciting, right? So, um, yeah, that's a milestone to get to. Um, yeah, I think that's it, y'all. I'm going to let y'all go before I keep rambling on. Y'all remember to have a life lift creatively, and I'll see y'all in the next video.